In this video, we're going to complete the tutorial mission. As usual, I need to emphasize that this is a video game and not a real cybersecurity. After you sign up for an email, you will receive this mail in your inbox. It details, uh, well, it's called I'm watching you. And uh, it explains that somebody wants access to this email address that belongs to this person and they also give us the IP needed and they tell us that we might um, find some useful tools if we search for shop on the network and they just want us to reply to this email with the password we also got a program up here that might be used uh, or well will be used to complete the mission so let's do the thing he recommended first and go into well search for shop on the net and we'll find these identical stores if you're in multiplayer you want, might want to pick a um, result that is further down the list And in here, we will find the tool that is used to complete. Well, it's not actually needed, but that is um, intended for this mission. It's the first one. It's called Nmap. We're just going to buy that. It's free. Wait for that to download. Then I'm going to start a terminal. And when it's done downloading I'll close this window and we can ls to see that it's indeed in here now and map if you download it to another location then you will have to um, dd into that folder in order to run it you can also put it in bin if you want to be able to run it uh, from anywhere you know, on the computer so once you found the command where you put it you run nmap and then we need to run it with the uh, target IP. So we just copy paste that. And it tells us there, that there are two SSH ports open. I think the mission is going to be um, pertaining to the first computer. But if it's not, then you might need to check both. Uh, so, okay, we know that it's running um, SSH and we know which ports are open. So, um, the next step is to use uh, social engineering to um, get some information about this uh, target. And you would need to use the who is command for that. So, if we just type who is, it will tell us uh, how it's used. It's used with a public IP address, and we got that already. So, who, who is, and then the IP. And it's giving us a domain name, uh, the name of the admin for the network, as well as the email address to that admin and a phone number. The information that is interesting, or at least interesting for us, is uh, the admin's email address um, or name. You can pick whichever you like, uh, because the next step is going to be to create a new email um, and then uh, in the left column here you can see several options. We can either use administ uh, administrative action uh, where we will pretend to be the admin and ask the user to probably open another mail client here. Let's do that. So um, Uh, we have the, the the person's email and their name here, so we can either pretend to be the 
admin and send them an email asking for their password. Or we can use this where we pretend to be the user and send that to the uh, admin and ask them to retrieve the password for us. So let's uh, go with this one this time. So what we do is we copy the email address, put that in here, and then we need the username and the username on the computer is the last name for the person or the name used in the email address. So well, as you can, not or they're the same as you can see, their last name is also the name that they used for the email sign up. And that's also the name that they used uh, on the computer. So we copy that in here and then we simply send this. And we get a reply uh, where they say that everything is working fine and asks us if we used the correct login credentials, which we can now use. So uh, back to the terminal here, we saw that we had port 22 open and that's SSH. So we can use the SSH command to get in here and we can just type SSH to see how it works. Uh, you type user at the password, the IP address and uh, the port. Uh, it's uh, 22 by default. So if we want to target the uh, port uh, 47383, then we will need to use the last parameter. So we do that. We do SSH. And we have the username and password here. So simply copy that. And nope. So we need to select the window uh, when we're using the copy paste. And then um, the IP address we have up here. And now we have access. We're also getting a tutorial pop up here. So uh, it's going to tell us a bit about. Okay, it wants us to run the file explorer on here. Let's do that then. You can read this uh, when you're doing this yourself. in here we need to open it here we can see the log that was created when we accessed the computer tells us a bit about the tray system and if we try to remove if if this so the tutorial mission um is not going to trace you but if this was another system we would want to remove the shell obtained and that is not possible because we don't have uh, the required permissions for it. Um, we need to escalate permissions somehow. The most common and easy way, if it's possible, uh, it depends, is to just uh, find the root hash in the password file in the etc folder. But since this is a tutorial mission, we don't need to bother with that here. Um, Okay, so back to the mission. Uh, opening a file explorer was not a bad idea for this. So we are now connected with SSH into the target. And they were looking for... Well, we, we can... Let's see here. Let's, let's take this one. Um, they were looking for the credentials for the user's uh, email account. So if we go into the uh, main folder... And then into home and then we find the uh, username and then we there are also some uh, chat logs in here they are randomly 
generated on networks so um, your system might not look like this we even got a picture in our system so uh, anyhow uh, in the config folder uh, we will have a mail.txt and a bank.txt the mail.txt contains the um, email credentials for the user and the bank file contains the bank credentials we are interested in the mail so we can see here the email address as well as their password hash and the mission um, is to get the plain text uh, for this password and send that to whoever is watching us so uh, this is where the decipher tool comes in so we can just click this and again download it to here if you want to be able to use it in the entire computer we will put it into the bin folder and that will allow us to use it anywhere so let's do that for this one you can also do it for the nmac command command like i mentioned previously uh so we close this and then we can do this in several ways uh, either you can just copy this uh, text and put it into a text file on your uh, home computer or you can upload the decipher tool to the target or you can download the file from the target to your computer so uh, i'm going to show you one of those let's go with the file download uh, so the way you do that is you well actually no i'm not going to show that one i'm going to show the copy text so you, you take the, the text and you copy it you can either Control c or right click and copy then we go up here and start notepad and we paste the info in here and we click save and then we save that as pass for example doesn't matter what you name it save we can close that again and then we open a new terminal and if we look here now we have the pass and we have the decipher tool installed in bin so we can now type decipher and if you just run it, it will tell us how you use it. So it's used with a file that contains a hash. And that's our pass file right here. So we do decipher and pass. And that's going to run uh, the decipher and give us the plain text password. Uh, as you can see, the, the uh, progress bar was a bit faster on my, my system here. And... Uh, that is because I've installed some better hardware um, that is that can be done from the shop web website that I showed earlier. Okay, so what we do here is we reply with the password that we found. And send. And they respond with a special shop IP. That can then be used to um, advance further into uh, the game and its mechanics. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next one.